another beautiful, gorgeous day here in Kelowna, British Columbia. And look who is back. Hello. My eldest daughter, Mia. Welcome back to the channel. Everybody's been missing you. <laughs> I've missed everyone. She came up to Kelowna when we were in California doing my wife's birthday. She took care of Presley. That's the perks of having like a daughter that's in her 20s now. <laughs> yep. Can't believe you're 20. Like, I know. look how tall she is. And she's up straight. <laughs> not in heels or anything like that. <laughs> Today we have a fun video. That's right, more cars are being sold. I'm gonna let you know which one is going shortly. But right now we have to put some heat in the engine. You ready for this? Yep, ready. You have not been in the Lamborghini Diablo I'm SV. I'm so excited. I was actually so excited to even see it. I haven't seen it in person yet. It's so cool. Yeah, Manual, it gated. Cool. It was kind of like kind of a replacement to the Mercy that got crashed. Yeah. You know, <laughs> doesn't quite have the sound. Anyhow, you go ahead. You open up the door because you'll see it on the other side right there. Paying our respects to Mercy. Paying respects. Oh, I forgot I have it in the air. This is actually pretty cool. So the lift goes like this. Done. Do you mind passing me that? Grab this. Okay. And you pull this back like this. Oh. This comes off and this goes up in here. You pull this back and push it up and release it so it's attached. Now this air is what releases the locks on all four corners. So there are safety locks in here. And you can see when it goes up, it locks into these each little incremental little five inches. And that's so that like, basically you can't just let go of the hydraulic pressure and just fall on you and crush you. That's good because I'm that standing good. under it. That's right. First thing you want to do is get it off the lock system. So right now, look, this is all loose. Yeah. We want to just push it up, push this button and get it up a little bit. Keep going a little bit more. That's good, stop there. Your left hand on there, I'll hold your- My popcorn, that's I'll my breakfast. I'll hold your breakfast. popcorn. Left hand, push that in. You hear it? Yep. Um, it undid the locks. Yeah. Right hand, push this in, and it's gonna come down. Yep. Looks good to me. Looks good to me too. Okay. Don't kill your dad. And here she comes, the 1998 Lamb! Diablo SV, number one Lamborghini ambassadors on the internet simply because I have a big sign on my garage wall. This is a good looking car. Touchdown, now you can let go. Cha-ching. Now we're gonna put some heat in the engine. This is so cool. Yeah, what do you think? I love it. It's pretty cool? Yeah, I like the yellow. Ah, it's classic Lamborghini. Yeah. Well, let's put some heat in the engine and let's see if you can figure out how to open the doors. Do you have any nails on? No, no nails. Well, that's good, that'll no be nails. your benefit. Go, see if you can figure this out. Okay, I wanna say that this has something to do with it. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy. It's not heavy, it's just like a hard lock. Okay, well I got it. You got it, so now get in okay. and I'll fire the car up and then we will be on our way. We have other cars at August Luxury Motor Cars that potentially could come to the channel. I'm excited to show you some of these because one of them I've actually wanted for a long time. I'm just going a little crazy in my head as to whether or not I'm willing to actually cut this car up. It's numbered, it's limited edition, and they're still quite expensive. Cold start. it did and I'm sure if we played lo around long enough with the header system that set up did some custom exhaust we get that high pitch sound but for now we don't have it which is gonna lead me to say I think I'm gonna trade it in I think we have to let go of the Lamborghini Diablo SV you guys it was voted the number one car out of all the cars in the fleet to sell really yeah these guys don't like it I'm in the business of uh, obviously driving cars I love all the cars so I love this car I love the SVJ, I love the new, the old, whatever. This car is a car that for me personally, I would keep it and I would put it in the collection to eventually just have one day. However, I'm not in that position yet. So 
you have to sometimes make tough decisions. And even though I love it, if it's not getting enough attention in the videos, which is what pays the bills for these cars, then it's gotta say goodbye. So right now, me and I are on our way to August to trade this car in and use the equity that I have in it to basically put that down on the new Huracan. So I'm just glad that I got to get a ride in it before you got rid of it, because this is my first time in this car. And first I and last. It. First and last, but <laughs> at least I got to go in it at all. I mean, I could always teach you how to drive manual before we uh, no, trade it in. Not in this thing. The no. old? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be trading it in, it'd just be the clutch. You'd have to get a whole new clutch, probably. I would destroy it. Just trade it in with a bad clutch. I'm just joking. <laughs> right now, this car is perfect. Yeah. And this car has been beyond reliable, you guys. I'm definitely going to miss the manual gearbox. Because after this, the CGT, that's it. Horse Career GT. Well, and after that, nothing. Everything's so paddle. That one pretty much makes up for not having any other manuals, though. That is okay. one of the sickest cars ever. Here we go. Let's have some fun with the gearbox. Luxury motor cars, 3510 Spectrum Cord. <laughs> back again. Back, back again. <laughs> they got their own little fleet of Hummers over there, I see. This is kind of cool. We recently got another Hummer. What did you think of the Hummer when we had it? The Hummer was really cool. Right? I, I don't think I actually, I think I went in it one time. I just remember it being huge in there. Like you could lay across the passenger and driver's seat and like have an app. That's an actual Alpha. That's a special edition that came right from the factory that already had the Duramax. Really cool engine in it. And uh, our new one's got a Duramax. Max swap. It's not the Alpha, but it's like considered super Gucci now. Allison transmission, Duramax engine, upgraded like shafts. I got the shaft. Duramax, doesn't that make it faster? More it does. Power? Yeah, more power, more torque, way better drivability. That's but cool. they got quite the little lineup of Hummers here right now. This is a Duramax swap. This is Nats. The black one? Yeah. That's cool. And then we have an old school white one here. I like that. I like the old school. Yeah. It just has, I feel like it has more character. Right? <laughs> I like it a lot. With Brent Marshall's Hummer, this gray one here on the end, soft top, That's convertible so for summer fun. It's like the Fast and the Furious didn't looking you, tech truck. Does it say lightning on the side? Uh, no, it says sport. Sport, it's a sport. Um, didn't you jump the Hummer? Did I jump the Hummer? You did, didn't you? Yeah, like six feet in the air. Yeah, and it, yeah. I feel like I remember seeing that, but that was a while ago. This is a Lamborghini. No way. That's a Lamborghini. Do you know what Lamborghini that is? No idea. It's called an Espada. That Not has a heard of that one. V12 engine in the front, and it has seats in the back. Yeah, that's, I don't think I've ever seen a Lamborghini with seats in the back besides the like Lambo truck. Isn't that thing an weird? SUV, but yeah, that's a really interesting looking car. It does not look like a Lamborghini to me at all. Would it shock you that I told you that that's also a Lamborghini? That one? Not as much. That's a Uraco, I think. It doesn't shock me it. as much because it's not as long. It's shorter. It's so that weird, makes right? more sense to me, but yeah. Weird Lambos. Definitely. Old school Lambos. <laughs> they all belong they? to Ryan. Ryan's a pretty odd individual. He likes to collect weird stuff. Definitely went the right way with uh, changing the body style, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not a fan of that? <laughs> oh, it's too bad. I came and brought you here to buy you a Lamborghini, and that was the one I was getting you. Oh, oh my. Hey, I'm not going to complain, but I think <laughs> business-wise, they made a smart choice of making them look how they look now. You couldn't afford the maintenance bills on those ones. They break oh, no. all the time. Hell they're no. broken more than they're running. We'll say our final goodbyes to the Diablo. I know, I know, I know. That's you can always buy another one in the future. True. Who knows what we'll get next though. You wanna go car shopping? Hell yeah, I do. All right, just the guy here for the job as well. I feel bad because you had someone on the Huracan, right? What if I told you instead, I'm willing to sell the Diablo SV? And you can sell that. Oh, all right. Think you can sell it? Probably. Yeah? <laughs> this thing is honestly bulletproof. It's never given me an issue, not once. We cruised around all over LA. I've left it for a week or two and have not started it and have come home, just like actually this trip. And it starts first time, every time. It's like, honestly, it breaks my heart that I'm gonna let this thing go. Well, cause I'm not rich, Mike. You know, I'm not rich <laughs> no. like billionaire Mike Hall and uh, no, Matt I've August. I've seen your credit app, so I disagree. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> how are you, Matt? I'm good. Can you, does that shock you? What car should we sell next? What's number one? SV. By how much? What percentage? Like. 70. Like 70. 49 percent. 49, like half the audience doesn't want to see this car on the channel. Which breaks my goddamn heart because it's amazing. I give it to you. I might keep it. You don't. I don't want to see it, it around here. Right. Dude, if you drive it around town, I would. Just Why does he do this to me? <laughs> Why do you pay? Hey? My freaking paycheck. I haven't, I haven't seen you for like months since Dream Rally. Why? I've been away. on vacation. Yeah, he's a piece of 
Everybody else is working their asses off. I'm, I was I'm fishing. Feeding my friend. I Look saw here. that fish. I'm feeding my people. What is that? I'm fish. feeding my people. <laughs> what type of fish was that? Salmon. Wait, which one? No, the big one. It was like a tuna or something. Wasn't oh it? yeah, we were just tuna fishing off of Tofino. That thing was nuts. It's a crazy way of fishing. I've never done it before. Dynamite. <laughs> catch all the fish in the boat, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Throw it in, they just <laughs> fall in. That's all that's left of a, of a 500 pound tuna after dynamite. <laughs> that's pretty good. Should we go in and say hi to Billionaire Mike Hall? Let's go see him. Let's go say hi. Matt, well you've been gone. Mike's bought a few cars. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are stacked, stacked to the brim. Well I'm thinking now what I want to do is I want to test drive that. I really like that red F430 sitting in the middle there. All what sold. do you think? All the ones on the rack are sold. Yeah, I bet they're not. <laughs> they're not. He never, he, they're not. He hasn't been that busy since I've been gone. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, last time I came in and he said, most of the cars are sold. I said, well, you might want to start delivering them. Is this August luxury storage now or what? Oh, Wait. hell yeah. What do you think, Mia? Sick. Huracan. It's been a while since I've been in any of these cars. These black <laughs> wheels I had sitting in my garage. So we brought them over to August and had them put on. I really like the black wheel look better. These are the 19 inch Huracan wheel, not the 20. I only put these on because they're also already pre-mounted with tires. I don't really care for now, just to drive it around. Actually looks pretty good, I like it. And it's the modern five spoke. Man, looks good. This thing's gonna get picked up tomorrow and then it's gonna go down to California. So we made a decision, this thing's getting supercharged. I like the supercharger on these cars. Well, I decided to twin turbo the SVJ. Come on. Yes. Really? Dead serious. Went and paid for it, getting all the stuff made. It's gonna be badass. Crazy. Dude, uh, you're coming to California the day that car's ready, and we'll take you guys for rides. We'll take you out for an experience like you've never had. LA, nighttime shenanigans. Oh, it's fun. Hey? It's fun. It's what? It's really fun. Big, big engine, big boat entrance, thousands in attendance, shifted up to second. All these Lamborghinis, turbos on Ferraris. I scare you when I start it, you stop it when I park it. We'll be back to get you in just a minute. So, we now need to also discuss some other cars that should come to the channel because if we're getting rid of the Diablo, we already know that the Viper is going. I think the CGT might be on the chopping block. I have a hard time letting that car go. So we're not quite there yet. Let's pump the brakes. But in the meantime, we can still get some other cars. So brutal. Huh? <laughs> You're just getting rid of all the good ones. What the hell is this? Okay, well, the other the other car, like look at this, the other car that's on the chopping block and I'll show you guys so you have proof of this. Read the numbers. What's it say? It says Dodge Caravan. Get rid of that before you get rid of the CGT. <laughs> no, it says, look, vote for what car and so we'll say we sell next, not we. I had a bit of a no, I know. episode. But look, it's... Yeah, but the caravan was just a joke. I know people say 24%, but we needed it. It's the camera that car. That 2%, not... I'm holding on to that That's a $30,000 van, you guys. I'm not, I'm not even getting any money out of it. Well, well, I can't use it to do anything but film. Well, they love the SVJ. They do love the SVJ. Diablo SV, 49%, gone. Oh. Career GT, though, is next on the chopping block out of all the vehicles. Oh, no, it breaks my heart. I know, I know, I know. What? Is I haven't made the decision yet. It's still here. Well, you need a manual. So you're not going to have any manuals. What is this? I don't even drive manual, but it's cooler to drive manual than automatic. Come on. I know, I know. So here are my thoughts. Come, huh. walk with me. I'm manipulating your thoughts. Walk, get rid of it. Walk with me. They did make the 4GT, the one before this, in a manual. I could also go and find another manual Mercy or rebuild my Mercy. You want to know something interesting? Yep. The insurance company really wants to fix the Mercy logo. They don't want to write it off. So I really only at the moment have two options. The first option is let them rebuild the car, which is going to take around 18 months. So I won't see that car for a very long time. The other option is I take the car back completely wrecked and they gave me a cash buyout. But the cash buyout is about half of what the car is really valued at. So I'd have to be able to rebuild that car for a lot less than even the money they're giving me to even justify it. Plus, I'm still going to take the hit because the car will be a salvage title basically at that point. So what do you think I should do? Let them fix it? Let them fix it. Or should we fix it and be, take the cash and fix be, it on the channel? Be patient. Let them fix it. You don't think I should fix it? I don't really know how everything works, but it sounds like you would get less money. You have to put the work in to fix it, whereas you could just, you know, chill for 18 months and they fix it and then you get it back. Worst yeah. case, you sell it for what it's really worth and you get money. It's just patience. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. See this thing? What do you think of this car? It's a 488 Pista. Now, I don't know I would do yellow, but I've thought this could be a cool car because it's highly modifiable. We put an exhaust, we can tune it. It'd be stupid fast. And it's already a Pista, so it's already lightweight. It's got a sick interior, but I could do some really wild stuff. I could get a GT3 Ferrari 488 kit and put a full race kit onto a Pista, which no one's had the cojones to do yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? The cojones. The cojones. Yeah, that's, that'd be a good idea. 
Yeah. Can you get a Bronco? I know that's like way off topic, oh but. Where are you going with this? <laughs> they recently got this in, which is super sick. 765 LT. Oh, yeah. this is different. Hey, look at this. She's right now or no? This is older than the one we got you, but oh, look at this. It's a gated manual Gardo V10, 2005. Damn, 200,000 Canadian. Do you like this? Yeah, this is super cool. It's cool because it's got a gated shifter. You had an LP560, which is better. It actually has direct injection. It's a better motor, better everything. So Other cars in here that we could potentially do. What do you think about us now? This is Mike's crazy rap from Dream Rally, but this is an all white Aventador S coupe, not a roadster, that we could do a crazy project on. I'm thinking like full wide body, crazy wing, mod the engine, make it sound nuts, shoot flames. Aventadors are cool. Aventadors are really cool, but you already have one. I have one, but you know who doesn't have one? David. What if we surprise <laughs> what if we surprise Dave with his own Aventador? Think he cries? I don't think Dave would cry. We could try to make Dave <laughs> Let's cry. Make Dave cry. I want to see Dave cry. It would be funny. See the emotions come out. Yeah. What do you guys think? Would it be cool to surprise Dave with an Aventador S? You guys let me know. Comment below. So I'll put this to vote. Aventador S, 488 Pista, 765 LT. Kind of competes with my 720 GTR. It's a little too close. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm more on the Pista. We're no no Aventador Porsches. S. No Porsches at all. Poor. I mean, I have the ultimate Porsche. So what else is there? A 918. I don't think there's much I could do to a 9. 18. Instead of a Pista, I also would put a 458 Speciale on there. This is a 458 Speciale. What's cool and different between these two cars is that for the most part, other than the looks, they're very, very similar, but that's twin turbo. This is naturally aspirated V8. So if I straight pipe this, this would sing like, really? Whoa! The thing, I like how this one, like I like that it scoops in the front. Yeah, where instead like of that. just the venting like this, it goes yeah. all the way through. I think that looks really cool. That is. I mean, the Pista is on a whole nother level. Yeah. It's really sick. You know what problem I'm having? When I started this business, I was excited to have one Lamborghini and to be able to justify having one. And now we've gone through so many cars that I'm running out of cars to get mod that are under a million dollars. It's an amazing problem to have though. It's an amazing problem to have, but it's also <laughs> creates some challenging Definitely. ideas to be able to go, what's next? So we might have to jump into that million plus crazy car range, I thought about getting one of these, a Ford GT. However, it's a twin turbo V6. I'm kind of like, eh, on the fence about that. McLaren Senna. Something like that, guys, on the channel. I really like the color of that one, too. How cool is that? It looks like a UFO, kind of. I would try to find an all black one, because it's the best canvas for us to mod. Neon pink. We could. I could do a neon pink Senna. Guess who has an all black Senna? Black on black say... on black with little hints of red. I don't want to say Raymond. Uncle Ray Ray. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Raymond, if anyone's always got the crazy cool like he's got one. some crazy like weird oh, stuff oh yeah totally some paperwork we'll get that out of the way okay sold the diablo this is heartbreaking like i love this car sold to you and then now it's for sale at august luxury motor cars 3510 spectrum court, court. do not let Come this find in my garage do not keep it <laughs> if you keep august collect if he keeps it i don't want to see that car driving around town it's honestly like please sell it to somebody somebody call these guys and buy it trust me matt can't say no to money he said he was going to keep the orange sv and then someone bought it and he was like mm, whatever <laughs> in the beginning it was in the beginning it was i'm never selling this car if you had to choose the it. pista the 458 or the Aventador or s what would be a car that you you would choose pista you like that yellow one yeah it's pretty cool isn't yeah, it yeah it's different and you think that would be a good surprise for dave uh yes because but it's the only most if, modern only if we can make him cry what, you she, punch wants him in the face? she wants to surprise dave <laughs> surprise with car and make him cry because she bawled her eyes out when she got her lambo yeah i did we have to figure out the insurance thing <laughs> we'll talk Your insurance we'll insurance. talk she has a full-time job that's why she's not in the videos she doesn't even have time to hang out with dad anymore apparently i'm not cool enough i'm just raking in the dough bro <laughs> raking in the dough bro <laughs> yeah comment below who wants to have me on the channel more and if we can get her out of her work on a consistent basis at least once a month i would absolutely consider getting you another car but we'd have to basically my boss right now on the other end be like no we, we can't lose her basically <laughs> have to buy it outright and figure out where we're going to put it separate to our cars because none of our cars under the insurance policy we have will allow anybody with less than 10 years driving experience to drive and even then they still want to see your, they still, you're 35. You're not 35. Good to see you. Yeah. Good to see you. Uh, send me some tuna. Good to see you. Is that code for something? No, it's not code for something. He literally has like <laughs> 1700 of pounds of tuna. Good. I'll take the Huracan. I got to go pick up your little sister. Yeah. We can chat more in the Huracan about Mia coming down to California and having some fun. You'll see these boys soon. Please come to Cali for some fun and shenanigans. I know. I have to. Let's
rip around. Do it. We'll just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. We can bring our new Diablo. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. Let's go. Huracan Reborn. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Much love. August Luxury Motor Cars. Because there's a follow from you guys. So I'm gonna put a link in the top of the description. You guys go give their Instagram a little a little boost. Woo -woo. Boost, boost. Maybe give Billionaire Mike Hall's Instagram a little boost oh, too. Okay. I'll put that in there. We just talk and send them weird DMs. Ready for this? Ready. You push it, I'm excited, you push okay, it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> Old Betsy's back. <laughs> bye bye, Diablo. Bye, Diablo, we love you. Uh oh, <laughs> they thought they were waving at them. waving at these two guys, too, the goons. <laughs> Mia. Snowball Rally, the world's first supercar full winter driven rally. That's some awesome clips of this thing doing donuts and having fun hooning around at the Aspen Motorsports Park, which is the snow covered racetrack. And you took us, snow, you went up uh, Mount Washington, took us snowboarding in that. Went up Mount Washington. Yeah, the ski rack. I mean, it's just awesome. With so many fun memories with family and my daughters. And it's really the platform that built the foundation, you know, of this whole channel. It's what was the main reason we got to our first million subscribers. I have so many fond memories, and specifically this platform, the rear wheel drive 580-2 in Rosso Mars. So I've just got this big fuzzy smiling glow right now because I love this car. I truly, I joke it's the Honda Civic and Supercars because they made so many of them and they're so reliable. But if you were to pick one car, you could only afford one car to have and it was under obviously the $500,000 mark this is the car to have it sounds great that V10 won't let you down and it's just a ton of fun if you want to slide it around with the rear wheel drive and I'm home. I had to drop me off at Presley School quickly because oh, obviously we don't fit three people in here. Okay, quickly grab the G-Wagon, pick Presley up. Mia is leaving, unfortunately, today. She came for five days to watch Presley. Well, we had, uh, obviously, my wife's birthday in California, so I'm so grateful for her coming here and doing that. The Huracan looks amazing. I love this thing. I didn't realize how much I missed this car. And even, honestly, just in its stock spec like this, you can see why it's so iconic and so, like, desirable. G -g 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 G wagon. Let's go pick the girls up. I've got to say, for a family vehicle, the G wagon is absolutely my favorite. This has all the luxuries and the room to accomplish all of our goals and needs. And it's even got massage seats, so I'm not complaining there. Hello! Hello! Would you like a ride, Missy? Hey. How was school today? Good. Can we yeah. go to the mall and get mommy mall. a present, a late birthday present? We absolutely can. <laughs> <laughs> we also can go and get Tyla her shoes. I said I would get Tyla these really cool dunk clothes. They're pink. So we gotta go get those because I'll send them with you when you fly out. Can I hold the camera? <laughs> go fast, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
We are at the Kelowna International Airport. This is like a 180, because usually I'm the one getting dropped off and saying goodbye to Presley and Wifey, but today I have to drop me off. It's kind of like now I know what it feels like. Right, Mia? Exactly. I mean, Presley? You see my finger? No, I don't see your finger. <laughs> By the way, we got we got the girls some new shoes. I got Tyla some sick new dunk lows, and Mia really wanted these new balances. <laughs> Apparently so this is excited. a thing. So Mia's next car will be a Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look at Presley got the sickest, in my opinion, of all of them. She got these really cool Air Force Ones, and they say love on them. They're super the sweet. Oh, the growing. zipper's gonna bust. We're gonna make it work. <laughs> well, you better be coming back to the channel again soon, please. Oh, I will be. I will be. What? Love you. Thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> okay, I got no time. I got no okay, time. I go. got aboard right now. I love you. I love you too. Smash the subscribe button if Smash you guys want to see button. Mia in another video. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Come back. Don't leave us. <laughs> Here, cover up the camera to say goodbye. Peace. You follow oh, Uncle Ray Ray on Instagram? That's dangerous. He doesn't do anything. All he posts is photos of parked cars, that guy. That is true. Hey, <laughs> Raymond? Hey, Raymond, well, you got a new car? Cool. It's just, you take a photo today and a photo from five years from now, it'd still be there. Safe spot. <laughs> yeah, it's safe. Uncle Raymond's safe.